Hello, hello, I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. Oktoberfest typically happens around this time and I thought in today's video, I'm gonna feature a whole series of different types of German food. Not exclusively, there's something else that I wanna include in here, but we'll get to that in just a sec. Before we dive right in, I wanna let you know that this video is sponsored by Squarespace, but more on this a little bit later because we are about to dive right in to the first item that I wanna feature for this video. This is something that is absolutely front of mind when I think of German food, so let's head to the kitchen. All right, the first thing that we're making for this video is something that I've had quite a bit at restaurants, but I've never attempted to make it myself. It is schnitzel. And when I looked at the recipe, which I will link in my description, it didn't seem like it was too difficult and I didn't need that many ingredients. Essentially what I need is pork steaks, I need salt and pepper, all-purpose flour, eggs, breadcrumbs, and also oil for frying these schnitzels. It doesn't take that long, I think six minutes to prep, 10 minutes to cook, so let's get right on it. Okay, I don't have a rolling pin or a hammer, so this is what I'm gonna be using to thin out the slices of meat. Okay, so we have three different bowls for three different mixtures. We have the flour and salt, we have the whisked eggs, and we also have the breadcrumbs, and essentially we dip it in the flour, then the egg, then the breadcrumbs. Don't let it sit for too long, because we are going to try and fry it up straight away. Two to three minutes on each side, and then we're pretty much done. All right, that, that didn't really take long at all. Now, before I dig into this and let you know how well I did with my schnitzel, like I said earlier, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you've never heard of them before, Squarespace is an online subscription platform that lets you build beautiful looking professional websites using their super easy drag and drop templates. They have e-commerce features if you're looking to open up shop and sell food or blog templates if you're looking to write about your crazy epic adventures or email marketing templates if you're looking to increase and grow your readership. So whatever grand idea you have brewing in your head right now, make it come alive and make it happen with Squarespace. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash to save on your first purchase. And if you do end up making a website with Squarespace, please send it over my way because I would love to check it out. Okay, we should get started on trying this schnitzel, but before we start, I actually got a drink for this. Be right back. Okay, this is what we have as our drink for today. I don't think, I don't think I've ever had this beer before. That was a pathetic pour, <clears throat> apologies. Okay, let's get started. I could have added like salad or chips or things like that, but I'm just gonna keep it simple. Just lemon, some salt and pepper, and that's pretty much it. All right, here is my first bite of my pork schnitzel. It's actually not bad. Make sure you eat it like as soon as possible so that the, the exterior is more crisp. Like this is still, you know, relatively crisp, but I think it can be even crispier. And the pork, I wouldn't say it's super, super tender, but it's not like overly tough. So I actually don't mind it. As a first attempt, I am um, I'm quite happy with it. Um, next time I'd probably add more seasoning to the flour, maybe more salt, maybe like garlic powder as well. This beer is actually really good. It tastes a little bit like banana, I know that sounds a little bit weird, but it's super refreshing and I think it pairs really well with the schnitzel. And on that note, I am going to finish the rest of my plate of food before the exterior gets too soggy. And of course, finish my beer as well, but that is not it for this video. I'll check back in with you very shortly when we have more food. 
All right, in the next segment that I'm about to show you, we are gonna be making a burger. And it is a burger from one of my all-time favorite French restaurants here in Sydney, Hubert. Now, I've been to Hubert quite a few times and have had a range of their different dishes, but I've never had their burger. But we now have all the ingredients that we need to recreate the Hubert burger in the comforts of home. So without further ado, let's head to that segment. We are about to try the Hubert burger, which I am super excited about. I've laid it out like a deconstructed piece, but essentially what you're gonna need is this. We've got the burger bun that we need to put into the oven. We have the burger patty that you're meant to take out of the fridge 30 minutes before you cook it. We've done exactly that. We've got a couple pieces of uh, cheese. This is Gruyere cheese. Sorry, I can't pronounce it still. I practiced like five times. The onions, tomato sauce, the Hubert burger sauce. We have the mustard and we have the dill pickles. I feel like I would have really benefited from this experience as an ESL student because they label everything. Bread. Okay, bun is in the oven and also the burger patty. And once we remove it, what we need to do is we take the bun out and to the inside of the bottom half, we put mustard and tomato sauce. And to the inside of the top half, we put burger sauce and then also the onions. All right, let's do that. All right, we have the burger. This looks absolutely beautiful. It smelled so, so delicious as we were cooking it up. Well, my sister was cooking it, I just filmed it. All right, this is what the burger looks like. It's super juicy. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Eunice, this is so good. I've actually never had the Hubert burger at the restaurant. It's amazing how something quite simple can be so delicious. The patty is so juicy, it's so tender. And then when you combine it with the, the mustard, the tomato sauce, onions, the pickles, the pickles add a really nice contrast, sour tartness to it, I love it. I really like the Gruyere cheese in the burger. It's quite creamy and rich, and it's also, you know, a little bit nutty as well. And in combination with the pickles, with the, all the different condiments, I think it's amazing. <laughs> So I just wanted to check in and see how you're doing. Um, I know that not everybody who watches these videos are currently in lockdown, but regardless, you know, I just wanted to see how you are, how everything is going. In fact, I'd be really interested to know where you're actually watching this video from um, and how you found my channel. So for me here in Sydney, every day has pretty much been exactly the same. Sometimes I forget when things have happened. I don't know if it's the same with you, but I forget if something has happened and it, if it did happen, I forget whether it happened like two days ago or last week. Anyway, can you believe that 2021 is, is, a, is about to finish? By the time I upload this video, it will still be September, but like October is, is pretty much here and blink, it will be December and 2022 is just around the corner. As I grow older, time seems to go by faster. A year just goes by like this. I don't know if you feel the same, like time is actually going by faster as you start to age. Anyway, um, I just wanna say thank you so much for sticking with me even though we haven't been traveling much and once we can travel again i promise you we will get right back to it but for now we're just going to be traveling through food and the next dish is no different so this is the pork knuckle and then this is the sausages um, we also have one is a gravy and the other is a jus that we pour onto the pork knuckle. So we are about to dig in. We have a lot of food in front of us. I'm super excited. It smells delicious. So we have pork knuckle with sauerkraut and also 
bread dumplings. And we've also got a plate of sausages. So I don't know if you can see, but we've got three different types of sausages. In addition to that, we've also got fried potatoes and also red cabbage. And you know what, looking at everything that we have on our table, you might be thinking there is something missing. And uh, I've also got a thing of beer that will accompany today's meal. I'm super, super excited. And uh, okay, let's get started. really nice and refreshing. Which one should I start with first? Pork knuckle. Okay, we'll start with the pork knuckle first. Okay, I'll let you do the honors of cutting into it. Let's show everyone. Delicious goodness. Always, whenever I eat pork knuckle, let's try the crackle. Mm. All right, now it is my turn. I am going to try. Firstly, I'm gonna try the pork, uh, crackling first. Crackling is really, really crispy. I did put it back in the oven for a little bit, so it really helped crisp this crackling up. But what I'm also super excited to try is the actual um, meat itself. It's still super tender and it's really, really juicy. Honestly, I think it tastes amazing with both, whether it's the jus or the gravy. The meat itself, it's just super tender, super juicy. And when you pair it with the crispiness, the crackling, it's amazing. And what I really like is the, the sauerkraut adds a nice acidity, which kind of cuts through some of the richness of the meat. I'll probably have this for lunch for the next two days, but that's perfectly fine with me. All right, I also want to give the bread dumplings a go. So typically what's in bread dumplings is essentially diced hardened bread rolls, onions, butter, parsley, milk, egg, salt and pepper, and a dash of freshly ground nutmeg. These bread dumplings are also quite dense as well. The texture of bread dumplings reminds me of like stuffing, so it would taste really nice especially with some type of gravy or some type of jus. Okay, now we move on to our plate of sausages. There's three types of sausages in this dish. And in addition to that, we also have fried potatoes and also red cabbage. We have Frankfurt, we have Kransky, and we also have... Bratwurst. Bratwurst. Let's try the Frankfurt first. I mean, that's what I am most familiar with. This is quite savory, but it also just tastes like a typical pork sausage in a hot dog, for example. Let's move on to the Kransky. So a Kransky is typically a sausage that's made with pork, beef, garlic, and bacon. Um, I've had cheese ones before as well. I really like those, but I can't really fault it. It tastes delicious. Um, it's exactly what you would want in a sausage. Let me try it with a little bit of gravy as well. It tastes great on its own. Tastes also great with the gravy. And now we try the bratwurst, which is a sausage made typically with minced pork and beef, and they're usually served with sweet mustard on a piece of bread or hard roll. This reminds me of a chicken sausage as well. And so the condiments that come with this dish, we've got some fried potatoes and also red cabbage. The potatoes are done very nice. The outside is crisp and the interior is still quite fluffy. And then in terms of the red cabbage, I actually like the sauerkraut better. I like the tartness and the sourness and the acidity to it. Having said that, I still think red cabbage is delicious. It's just if I have the option to choose one between the two, I'd probably choose sauerkraut. This video is not yet over. We have dessert. So I actually ordered apple strudel as well. Now I think this is one of those things that would just taste better when you're having it at the restaurant, but I couldn't resist. I put it in the oven for a little bit. So the, the, the pastry, you know, seems to be a little bit more crispier. This smells like, you know, Christmas kind of. The puff pastry in this apple strudel is still relatively crisp and it's quite buttery. The inside is warm. It's got spiced apple. It's got, I think, rum soaked raisins. I'm missing some ice cream. If I had it, I would eat it with it. And that is pretty much it for this video. I will have pork knuckle for lunch for probably three of my next lunches. 
If you are still watching, thank you so much for watching till the end. I post new videos every week. Check them out if you have time. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. The way Janice does it is she'll show you what it's for, what it's like, like so. Here's the crackle. Still smoking. Usually I think you're meant to pour it all over your dish, but because Janice doesn't know which one's which, we can't. <laughs>